Hi, this is Robert Bolaños. Hey, uh, I'm going to be doing a impedance measurement, uh, low ohms impedance, using the Body 100. And I'm going to be using the, the BWIC from Omicron. And according to the manual, you should be able to measure, or at least I recommend measuring to 20 milliohm is the lower limit that they specify up to 600k it can measure higher than 600k i've measured i think uh, up to three meg ohms so uh, you can go that high but uh, you can measure below 20 milli ohms if you calibrate it properly okay so i've made a bunch of these uh, little uh, pcb boards and basically it's just a little pcb board and then I cut a slot in the middle and then I can solder whatever component is. So I'm going to be using those to calibrate. Now if if you're going to do low ohms uh, impedance or very low impedance, uh, the limiting factor that I've seen is uh, contact. If you have oil or or uh, let's say your your pcb contacts are not clean then that causes uh higher resistance than normal and also you want to make sure that your contacts on your uh, bwig are clean and one of the ways of cleaning it is by basically just uh you wet a little piece of paper and you open the uh, the B wick and you insert this. Let me show you how. Okay, so here it's inserted, and once it's inserted, you can pull it out, and that usually cleans any uh, oils or contaminant that are in the on the gold plated uh, terminals. Okay, and then the other things that you want to do is on your try to handle it by the edges as much as possible and try not to put your your uh, fingers on these plates or the this side and be sure you clean these as well once these are cleaned then you can go ahead and uh, use them for calibration so the first calibration that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the Okay, so here's another thing that I'm going to do that's a little bit different. Uh, what I, Typically when you do a, a uh, bring up the BWIC uh, uh, menu, uh, the n n number of points are usually, I believe, 200. What I do is I set it to 51 points and what I do is I reduce uh, the receiver bandwidth from 300. I believe that's the default. I'm going to go all the way to 3 hertz. So when you put it at 3 hertz, the measurement or the uh, slows down because it's a much tighter bandwidth. And since it takes longer than... I don't want to do 200 points. I want to reduce the number of points. So that's why I put this to 51. And I put this at uh, 3 kilohertz. And this, you set it to the maximum. And then you go to user range for foreign calibration. And the first uh, function or calibration will be the open. I'm going to put the open jig which is this one I'm going to insert this one so here I've got the open inserted now the other thing that I notice is if you're working around in a noisy environment uh, what you can do is in this case I use some copper foil and basically I'm doing like a little Faraday shield and I put it over that that way the connection and everything is shielded so 
I believe that makes a little bit of a uh, difference. So I'm going to go ahead and count. So it's done. So now I'm going to do the load. So I'm going to calibrate the load. So I'll take this one off. The 100 ohms uh, load, calibration load. I put the little shield. I put the load, so I'm going to go ahead and put the press load. So now I'm going to calibrate for a, inserting a short. Here I have my shorting uh, PCB and I put the little shield over it again. Okay, it's done. So before you uh, take a measurement you want to make sure that your short is uh, consistent so you want this to be as low as possible Gonna rerun again, and then you check whether this thing is maybe below a hundred micro ohms. Okay, this looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a measurement. Let's do a five milli ohms. Okay, now I have the five milli ohm uh, PCB. So now I put the little shield. Okay. So here it's running. And if you look here, it's uh, approximately 5.6 milliohms. It's supposed to be five, so that's pretty close. Okay. And here is the inductance, right in this valley or upward slope. Okay, so now let's see if we can measure one milliohm. So I'll go ahead and insert this one in there. So here I have the one milliohm uh, resistor. And now uh, we'll see what kind of measurement we get. Here is a measurement for the one million. Ohm. That's reading close to one million. Ohm. So you can see it's right there at the edge. And 933 micro ohm, which is basically one million. Ohm. Okay, so this is good although I don't like this let it run again oh I don't have the shield okay I don't have the shield so let me go ahead and put the shield Let's see if that fixes it Yeah, I sure did. See, that's why I'm using the shield. Because I think that the, the measurement is so sensitive that it picks up noise from uh, externally. So, yeah, that makes a big difference. Having a little bit of a shield. Okay, so this this here is one, basically one milliohm and then it you see the inductance kick in. You can see it more if I uh, space this out. 
a little bit better. So that's pretty darn good. Okay, so let's see. I have one more measurement. This one is a 250 micro ohm. Let's see if I'll fix it. Okay, so here I have the 250 milli ohm uh, resistor in its uh, PCB jig. I'll go ahead and put the, the Faraday shield. Okay. So here is the measurement. So here, you're picking up quite a bit of noise still, or there's not enough signal. But if you were to average that, okay, it's cleaning up a little bit. It's, clean, it's cleaning up a little bit. It's going to do a repass. Okay. So. This is probably the limit. Actually, one milliohm is probably more the limit here. Even though it's, uh, it's reading 190, 185. That's probably more of the noise measurement. Now you can improve this by inserting a amplifier into the input of the jig. There's a amp which will uh, increase uh, the voltage. And by increasing the voltage or the, uh, the input signal, it gives you more signal for the Bode 100 to uh, use and me make that measurement. So that's another one. But just by itself, uh, even though this uh, jig is specified to 20 mega ohms, if you uh, clean the contacts and maybe use the little shield, you can make measurements uh, down to one million uh, comparably. Thank you for watching.